what's up? This is Julio. Welcome to another episode of Julio's Book Reviews. Today's book is called The Wisest One in the Room, How You Can Benefit from Social Psychology's Most Powerful Insights by Thomas Gilovich and Lee Ross. Here's the cover of the book. If you guys want to go check it out. Uh, this is a pretty uh, interesting book. It, it uh, deals with uh, social psychology, hu human psychology, uh, human biases. I actually read this book uh, slower than the other books I've read. Uh, I've read it one chapter at a time. I just wanted to uh, internalize each chapter, you know, each take it slow and not speed through it. Uh, right away to the beginning, this book was intriguing, you know. I'll talk about the first chapter, how uh, the book talks about how people have biases uh, and they're, uh, I would say, uh, not selfish toward themselves, but uh, they see anyone else as having a different view than them or different perspectives they see them as a uh, something uh, that are that they are deviated from them which is normal so everyone thinks that they have the best views they're the most uh, rationalizing uh, views and then anyone that is deviated to the left to the right they see them as oh this guy's different from me you know so the examples really hit hard, really hit home with the examples. So the example was, uh, say you and your friend are in a room, right? And your friend starts getting cold. So your friend tells you, hey man, I'm starting to shiver, it's super cold. Just turn on the heater. And meanwhile, you're not cold, you're you're normal. So you turn to your friend like, well, like, like what's wrong with you? Like, you know what's wrong with you? You're cold, it's not, it's not, it's not cold in the room. So situation is if you flip the situation if the situation is flipped and you're in your, the room with your friend and you start shivering you're like dude it's cold in this room man turn the heater and when your friend turns at you and looks at you like what's it's i, don't, I feel fine i'm not shivering then you're the one that thinks how, how can your my friend not be cold he's weird or there's something wrong with him so you see how the situation is flipped and it also goes for uh uh, the food we taste and music we hear, you know, the food we taste, like, oh, I don't like this food, this food is disgusting, or this food is not, doesn't taste good. But it's not that it doesn't taste good, it's your interpretation that how the food tastes, is what, what's, what's making you decide whether the food or not tastes good. What, what tastes good to you might taste bad to someone else, what tastes bad to someone else might taste good to you. Same goes for the music, oh, this music is too loud. Uh, some people, they don't think the same, you know, this, they don't think it's too loud. Like, what's wrong with you? It's not actually loud. And if you flip it, you're like, yeah, it's too loud, but it's the interpretation of the input from the world and how we interpret it and make a decision. So that's really interesting. If you guys want to find out more, I highly recommend this book. It's called The Wisest One in the Room by Thomas Gilov, Gilovic and Lee Ross. And that's pretty much it, guys. Take care. Yeah. Uh.